Hi, I'm David. We're here at Coley Mill, the home of Everhot, and I'm going to show you how to cook all this wonderful food around me on one Everhot cooker. The cooker I'm going to use today is the 120i, one of our most popular sized cookers. We have three controllable ovens, a split cast iron hot plate and a three plate induction hob. Every cooker will have a control panel either built into the cooker or it can be freestanding for your worktop or tucked away in the cupboard. And it gives you the flexibility of temperature control for your ovens and hot plate. So you can set your ovens to what you would like to use. You can keep them all up and running in the winter months when you want the ambient warmth of a heat storage cooker. But in the summer months, perhaps you're not cooking so much, you would just like to use one oven and perhaps your induction hob. So the flexibility is whatever you would like to do. But let's start with this hidden secret, the, the grill at the top of the oven. Fantastic, it's a completely independent radiant grill tucked away right at the top of the roasting oven so that we can use it for grilling that Sunday breakfast when all the family come or if you're entertaining and you really want to impress your guests with the creme brulee you will never need a blowtorch again. So it's a very simple operation. Within the control panel we just keep our finger on the grill button and actually turns into your grill timer so it's now set to whatever you would like to do and you can adjust it by the up and down arrows. It takes a couple of minutes to come to full power and then we've got complete grilling the whole top of the oven. So to start with I've just got a tray of roasted veg tucked away lower in the oven and as you'll see that they've basically cooked away to give you that vibrant colour so I've got the peppers, the tomatoes, squash, courgettes, everything that's in season and I've basically just pop that in for the last half an hour or so so it's actually roasted away nicely and I want to use that for a dish a little bit later in the demonstration but as you can see the beautiful colours and the retention of cooking with indirect radiant heat so I'll just pop those over there as I said a little bit earlier we've got three zones in the ovens I've got the top oven set very hot as a roasting oven I've got this oven roasting stroke baking this oven as a simmering oven for our long slow cooking so, tucked away there, I have some chocolate brownies. Chocolate brownies cooked to perfection. Even baking, baked across, that lovely eggshell crust. So a fantastic brownie. I wish you were here to smell them. The chocolate aroma, absolutely fantastic. So I'll pop them to one side and away we go. So I think at this stage, our breakfast is going to come out. We should have a nicely grilled bacon, sausages, mushrooms, tomatoes, we have a very large roasting tin to show you how deep your oven is. So with the Everhot, we can, if you want, and you're thinking about Christmas, we get a 32 pound turkey in there. So we'll pop that to one side and we have our grilled breakfast. Using the lid of your Everhot, we can prove our bread, but we can also secretly iron the tea towel underneath. With a nicely folded tea towel, nicely ironed, and the bread is proved. So now you can see the grill has gone off. We've resumed back to oven temperature and we're ready to put our bread rolls straight into the oven. As you can see, you could get two trays in together and then we're going to add our very quick and easy Swiss roll. A cake that people get a little bit daunted about making, but with the indirect heat of your ever hot cooker, you will have no problem whatsoever. So in the bowl, I've got some eggs and sugar. I'm just going to give that a very quick whisk together and we'll pop in the flour and we'll be ready. So I have a baking tray, a piece of baking parchment and we're ready to go. So uh, just a second, we're nearly there. And a quick fatless sponge. So our eggs and sugar in with the flour, so we'll just sift that in. Make sure that that's gone through nicely. And then we can do the chefy bit and I can use my hand just to shake the flour through and that will give us a really nice light sponge mix. Now, 
If you're watching this and you're a little bit nervous about what I'm doing, you can use your spatula or spoon to do it. But it's nice and easy with your hand just to make sure that you've actually mixed all the flour through. So we will pop that straight into our baking tray. And there we go, a really nice, soft, spongy mix straight in to our baking tray. And that's going to go in with those bread rolls. A little bit of a shock for some people to cook two things together, but that's what the Everhot's all about. You can multi-cook. You've got different zones to use. Because your oven is externally vented into the room, you can mix different flavors. So no problem about something going in with another dish. We pop that in together and a quick hand wash and we're ready to go. So we're gonna pop that one in low into the oven. And from there, basically, we'll give it a few minutes and then showing you what we can do, we can move things around in the oven. And it doesn't make a difference by opening the door because of the radiant heat. So I'm gonna pop that one in and we'll let that happily cook away. So we've got our bread rolls in, we've got our sponge roll in. Let's make something else because the heat, as we said, is coming from under the floor of the oven. So it's basically an advantage for when you're cooking certain items. And a quick thing for me to show today would be a quiche, because a quiche in the world of Everhot doesn't need blind baking. Basically using baking beans or rice or something to pre-cook your pastry. We don't have to do that with the Everhot. I'm just literally taking my pastry case, some really nice colored vegetables popped into the pastry case. And again, we have the vibrant colors, the full flavor, and really nice contrast. So if you like pizzas, you've got the perfect base heat, so you get a really nice crispy base. I'm just gonna use some good, strong cheddar cheese, but you can use a nice mixture of whatever you like. So I'm just gonna pour that over the top, and don't be mean on the cheese. I've got some eggs, creme fraiche. You can use double cream, single cream, just milk if you like. And as soon as we've got our sponge for the Swiss roll and the roll's out, that one can slide in and it will bake nicely. Okay, so let's have a look in the oven. We have our bread rolls. We have our sponge cooking away really, really nicely. It is a case of really nice bread. Pop it around, we can move things around. What I want to just show you is that Although you're cooking a delicate sponge and bread rolls, it's not going to hurt to actually transfer through moving things around the oven. Let's have a look at the hot plate. The hot plate on the Everhot is a split zone hot plate. It's cast iron. We have a controllable boil section and a section of simmer approximately half the temperature. And what's fantastic with the simmer is that you can actually cook on it. By putting a cooking mat on top, we can do our cheese toasties. Why would you have a sandwich when you can do a toasted sandwich when you're ever hot? So as simple as that, pop those on a few minutes and we've got some perfect toasted sandwiches. The boiling side, ideal for bringing things to the boil, your root veg, you can stir fry, you can griddle. So I've got a couple of examples today of everyday cooking. We're gonna do some carrots and we're gonna basically cook those and we're going to do some rice but I'm not going to use the hob to actually cook them we have the third oven which is a simmering oven and we can use that for steaming our veg cooking our rice etc so I'm just going to pop a couple of pans onto the plate and it's carrots and some water for some rice and we better check in the oven because I think our sponge will all but be there so there we go, we have a perfect golden sponge, nicely even baked right across the top and a perfect finish to our sponge. Having a look, our bread rolls, fantastic bread, nice even baking, sliding on the tray so we've got a nice crusty base. The saucepans are steaming well so they're coming to the boil. So we'll be ready for our carrots and our rice. We have some really nice toasted sandwiches, golden brown, a nice even cook through the hot plate itself. We take our quiche that we're adding now, we've got the bread out, we're gonna add the quiche to the oven, 
and we're going to pop that low down in the oven so we'll get that wonderful crispy pastry and a perfect quiche. Carrots are boiling, water for the rice is ready, so let's add our rice. And for today's purpose, we could cook all this on the hob, but we're going to cook it in the oven. So literally just stir that to make sure it's free in the base of the pan. But a little trick with the carrots and the root vegetables are that you actually drain all the water from the pan before you put it in the oven. And you actually steam it in the pan so it contains all the nutrients, it will retain its vibrant colour and it'll be absolutely fantastic, flavoursome vegetables. Remove the cheese toasties, cooked really nicely, you'll melted your cheese, brown on both sides. We'll pop them onto a plate, ready for serving. We can cook other things on the baking sheet. And one thing that's absolutely fantastic at this time of year, some English asparagus. Just spread it out onto your baking sheet and it will give you a really nicely toasted asparagus so we'll just pop that onto the baking sheet and there we go easy way of cooking your asparagus so we have the rice we have the carrots you can slide around on the hob you can offset you can move on to your simmer part you're not going to lose the heat from leaving the lid up if you wanted to cook all on the hob but actually what we can do today is move to the simmering oven it makes really healthy way of cooking vegetables and a very, very easy way of cooking your rice. So what I've got tucked away in the simmering oven today, to give you an idea about the long, slow cooking, we've got the leg of lamb, the meringues, and the beef casserole. Okay, as you can see, perfect meringues. Really, really crisp on the outside. Cooked away fantastically. Perfect leg of lamb, absolutely fantastically cooked long long slow cooking could be five can be six hours but as you can see an absolutely fantastic joint of meat cooked away so that when you're out it's looking after itself and a casserole and it's the perfect scenario of slow cooking and looking after itself so i pop that one there as you can see succulent meat that's actually melting cooked away slowly in your simmering oven now we have these two things. We have the carrots, which basically I want to drain now and we're going to steam them in the oven. So I'm just going to take all the water out. And literally we are going to steam those in the oven. So just pop your pan on the shell and away we go. We have the rice, a quick and easy way of cooking your rice. Basmati in about 20 minutes. We can have brown rice in about 30 minutes. That's given me the hot plate again to use for other things. So for today, just as an idea, I'm gonna pop a grill pan on. So if you like steaks, if you like some butterfly chicken breasts, or some nice grilled salmon steaks. So while that one's warming through, let's have a look at in the induction. Completely different technology, but very, very simple to use. And on this cooker, we have a three zone induction hob. We have actually two zones that can be joined together. It's just kind of a finger slide on the actual track. We have some different parts to it. It's basically one to nine plus a power boost, which gives it even extra boost of power. We've also got a couple of features and there's a feature to melt chocolate. And there's a 40 degrees. So I've just been in a pan melting chocolate. So again, no need to worry about the bath of hot water. You can literally just melt your chocolate at 40 degrees on the hob. And for the other part of it is the extreme heat. So I thought the quick thing to do today would be make a very, very quick stir fry. So just a few chilies, a little ginger. Okay, we'll pop in our spring onions. And as you can hear, how quick and easy using your induction hob and the reaction within the heat Okay, so you just run your finger on the track, so I can put that onto power boost now, and that will give it a real push of heat to actually stir fry very quickly. Nice and easy, some nice prawns, and how quick is that, that you could come home from work, and a quick stir fry on top of the induction. And it may be in the summer months, so you can switch a hot plate if you don't want 
of the hot plate and you just want some what cooking, fast cooking, you can pop that on. A little chili and a little soy sauce. There we go. As quick as that. And pop in the pak choy leaves. Nice and healthy. And we have got a very, very quick and easy prawn and chili stir fry. So we can have it for melted chocolate at 40 degrees. We can do super fast cooking with the induction. And literally, you just run your finger on the track and we just let those prawns cook through and there'll be a few seconds. So we've got our grill pan ready to go. A few pieces of salmon, literally just pop them into the hot pan and you'll see that the plate's not lost any heat. And what could be nicer, some really nice griddled salmon pieces, a few slices of lemon. So you can fast cook, slow cook, really enjoy all aspects of cooking within your ever hot. So the stir fry nicely cooked through. So we have some perfect prawns with some pak choy, a little soy and a little sweet chilli. I'm just going to take all my asparagus and we can pop that now literally into the bowl ready to serve with our salmon in a few minutes. So we have our Swiss roll ready to actually pop a nice filling in. I'm just going to sprinkle a little sugar over the top. So I'm just going to pop the tea towel, be brave, over we go. So I'll just take the backing paper off and just carefully pull that away. And we're ready to go. So, some strawberry jam. Okay, one little tip, you can't get your lid off, a little bit of warmth from your plate. So I'm just going to spoon some really nice strawberry preserve over the top. That will give us a really nice base. Okay. So a really summery. So some strawberries or raspberries, whatever you would like. A little dairy cream. Okay. Not a lot. So that's our quick and easy sponge and how you can create with using your ever hot a really really fast sponge cake or a little dessert with some fresh berries so i'm just going to take our sponge and literally just tuck in be brave pull your towel okay and just roll and look at that just rolling up as we say absolutely perfect i'm just going to take a little cream and Okay, and a few strawberries on the top. <laughs> okay, so we just take some, a perfect ever hot sponge. Okay. And we've got our perfect Swiss roll. We have our salmon, okay, which is really nicely griddled. I'm just gonna flip that over now. Just pop the lemon to give that little flavour, but no added fats. Absolutely perfect. Really healthy to serve with our rice and asparagus, and griddled within a few minutes on your boiling plate of your cooker. Carrots and rice. So, we take our rice. Okay. So, perfect rice every time the ever hot way. And fantastically steam root vegetables containing all the nutrients. So, I've got the carrots, okay. And as you can see, vibrant orange, fantastic flavor. And there we go, we've got our carrots. All the food I've cooked today has been with the 120i, 
but can be cooked on any of our different models. Recipes on the website. Please enjoy your cooker.